Okay, today I'm also going to be doing a video on basically a review of what I think of Aromale and Firene. Firene is F Y R I N N A E dot com. Aromale, I think you can pretty much spell that out. You can Google it. Overall, I would have to say I like Fierne way better than I like Aromale. Aromale, I felt like if you get samples, way cheaper, not as much product as Fierne. I don't know, when I, when I got all my samples, I just kind of felt ripped off. Um, the texture is really chalky. It's not as easy to blend as Fierne. Some of the matte colors are worse than the shimmery ones. I felt like the shimmer just kind of like faded off. So I wasn't really impressed with it. If you don't wear a base with Aromalay, forget about it. You are not. It's not going on. Very good. One I would buy again from Aromalay is called Strikinin. And that's because I would put it over the Otherworldly paint pot from MAC. And it's just amazing. It's like pop of color. It's, it's really pretty. As you can see. It's kind of like turquoisey green. It's mainly like a, a teal green. And so that's one I like. Um, one that you might like if you want a little bit more shimmer would be Ozone. It's a little bit darker. See, and the samples come in these little baggies, which are so cheap and hard to work with. It's like you have to stick your brush down in there and try to... It's just a mess. I don't like it. Another one I would buy again would be this one is called Pyro. It's amazing. It goes on this shimmery. It's it's beautiful. So definitely would buy that one. All the other ones not really digging. White wedding is okay. It's like shimmery white. Nothing special. Iris is this matte light purple. It looks kind of like lovely lovely lily from MAC, but not really. I don't know. Didn't really dig it. Uh, a cool thing they do is they give you like a mystery color, which will never be replicated again. I got some dark purple color. It was alright. Just Like Heaven is like striking in, only it... My cat's trying to knock things over. Only it's not... Um, it's not as matte. And so, yeah, I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase necessarily from Aromalay. I just I don't know, wasn't really impressed. But Fierne, on the other hand, I have lots of Fierne. Fier one of my favorites that I would definitely have you purchase, Little Hellion, is what I wanted Bitter Eyeshadow from MAC to be. It's a matte, light green. And Fierne just like packs on the product. See if you can see it. They just pack it on, like, in these jars. Like, you, you're getting... For the price, you're getting a really good deal. If you love MAC pigments, I would totally check these out. Dragon Skin goes really well with Little Hellion. It's a little darker and more shimmery, but it's a, a, a it kind of reminds me of Golders Green. Only maybe a tad bit less gold and more dark. I like Elven Dagger, which is also a vibrant green. It kind of reminds me of Kelly Green Pigment from MAC. And it's that one. So pretty. So if you like bold and bright colors like I do, check it out. One of my favorites is Digital Fairy. This is definitely the one. If I had to pick just one, it would totally be this one. It's hot blue. Use a base. I mean, I don't care what eyeshadow product you're using. Use a paint pot or a shade stick or something. I use Paint Chili Paint Pot pretty much every day. So, totally recommend it. Uh, another one... Peach Buns. Swatch it for you. It's a really nice peachy color. I wouldn't say it's a good highlight color because it's a little dark for that. Maybe if you had darker skin. But it's got a little bit of a pink undertone. It's, it's pretty. Another one that's kind of neat is called Equality. Now this has like little light blue and pink sparkles to it and it's a silver. And it goes on pretty true to what it's supposed to. But it's almost got like a taupey feel to it. I like to put it over Shark Skin's Shade Stick. It's like gorgeous. This one is very interesting. It's called Silky Skin. 
and it's like a brown, but it's kind of like purpley. I don't know. It's got a little bit of a purple undertone to it. So that one I'd recommend as well. If you like hot pink, kitten in heels, hot color. But you know what? It looks just like uh, Post Haste from MAC, only a little bit more shimmery. So I, if you have that one, I wouldn't really buy it. This one I was so disappointed in. You have to be careful on this site because the swatches aren't necessarily true and uh, the description of the color isn't necessarily true. This was supposed to be a light purple. This is a mauve. This is like pinked mauve from MAC, if you're familiar with that. It's gorgeous, but I just, I only use it as a lip color because it just, it's, I don't know, I just feel like ick when I put it on my eyes, I don't know. This one's really pretty. It's a shimmery uh, pink. It's called Kiri Samasu or something. And it looks kind of brown in the thing, but it goes on like uh, just a light shimmery pink. Real, real pretty if you just want an all over light color. You don't want to look like you're really wearing any makeup. Furio and Nori. Let me tell you, they're pretty much the same. If you buy one, don't buy the other one. Ugh. I like Nori better because there's more sparkle to it. Great if you're going out clubbing and you want something like sparkly and pretty and dark. <laughs> Very dark. This is winter again. And it's got kind of like a light blue undertone to it, which it, it's really pretty. I would recommend that one as well. The glitters, I got City Glam Lights of Kyoto light blue and I never really had any use for this but when I put it over Azrael blue or any kind of light blue you can just dust it on top of your, uh, your eye look and it just looks illuminated one I would stay away from fairy glamour this is the arcane magic it's supposed to sh change from like light blue to gray to stuff it looks amazing you put it on it turns gray and like a matte gray and ugly nasty ick this one's pretty Norger or whatever. Nord. It's like a teal blue. It's pretty. Another one of the the glitters, uh, City Glam Stockholm. It's pink, great with pink looks. Um, they're like the Reflex glitter from Mac, really. That's that that pretty much sums them up. Um, the blushes, wow, did not like the blushes, did not blend well. This is Enchant, if you can see, it's a bright orange, it looked hideous on me, it was not peach. I look like a clown. One of my favorites, Lemis Sabricius. It's purple and it goes on like this. This is what I wanted violet pigment to look like. And let me tell you, I use it all the time. Love it. Optimism is another favorite. It's like a cornflower blue light purple with light blue and pink sparkles gorgeous Japan it's so pretty it's a dark teal and great for eyeliner pretty dark greeny teal gorgeous color and I'm getting it everywhere Aside gold oh my god I was so disappointed with it um, goes on like a greeny and patchy. It, even with base, even with trying to blend it out, it was it was pretty awful. Angel's Tail, oh, great highlighter. It's like a taupe for any like brown looks you're doing. It's perfect for that. Another one that it was just, they give you a free sample every time you buy stuff. Melty, it's like orange. It's kind of like acid orange really. That's what it reminds me of. It's really pretty. It's not too much, just enough. Necromanite, great eyeliner. It's like black with a little bit of teal in it. Um, this is one of their best sellers, Fire and Ice. And if you look at it, it is so gorgeous. It's like black with hot pink sparkle. But the only problem that I found is that it really, it's not a good liner for me. I don't know what to do with it yet. Lockness. A gray with like a green undertone. And those are really the ones that I like to mention. Um, I really feel like Fierne is a better deal than Aromale. You get free shipping on orders more than $25. So definitely check out Fierne, especially if you love Matt, because you'll be getting a better deal.